everybody, Vagrant Gaming, and here we go again with a Clutch Ball. We had a bit of a discussion before the match started about whether we were going to deathmatch the objectives. People fortunately agreed for objectives, which is really nice. So right out of the gate, what I'm trying to do is use my explosive round, my stun, my knockback. I'm basically using all of those things to help push people off the ball carrier to give them some room to get ahead. Ideally, he could run into that corner, grab the speed power up, and go on his way. And also the other thing I was doing was focusing some DPS onto the sniper because if he free casts, our ball carrier could be taking a ton of damage and that's, that's not what we want. Unfortunately, the ball got intercepted. So, what we're going to do is we're going to try to rocket our way up to the second tier and try to get back on track with stopping their ball carrier. Fortunately, he got stunned. I threw the explosive round just in case to keep him locked in there. It didn't work. And now he's moving and he's got his dodge up. So I pop hold the line and throw some tech damage. And I'm just trying to get ahead so I can grab that power up to make sure he doesn't get it. But turns out the rest of the team locked him down. So from here, I didn't really want to get too much closer to that. There's so many people mashed up in there. So I'm just trying to DPS from afar. Unfortunately, I got a ball carrier and off he goes. Through the stun, probably a bit early, I might have been better off waiting to try to catch him in the acid. And someone hit a knockback on him there, and I'm going to go for mine in a second. Unfortunately, I'm just a little bit out of position. I should have tucked myself to the right side by the railing, and then I probably could have pushed him all the way down to the bottom floor. But my positioning was off, and as you saw, he bounced off the pipe and then just carried on. So this guy's got his dodge up, and he's very close to our end zone. There was pretty much nothing I could do to help stop him there. So, we're going to drop down to the ball pit, and we're going to try this again. So, we're going to target the sniper there to prevent him from free casting. And I popped my, my shield really early because uh, my health wasn't that high, and if he turned around instead of returning fire, it probably would end badly for me. Fortunately, there was a lot of people running around. He didn't seem to notice that I was attacking him, which left a pretty good opening. So just with a couple of shots there, he goes down, and now I'm going to try to grab the harpoon, get up to the second tier, and keep trying to support our ball carrier. And up we go. So I sneak in, thinking I can knock down this assassin. Big whip. <laughs> it looks like he was just out of range, which is unfortunate. So now I'm going to try to target a ball carrier, which I have the hardest time clicking on people. I didn't quite have the quick enough reflexes to read his name and find him in the off range. So I tried to get some heals, but these two assassins were spot on with a knockback, so I'm going to push them right into the ass. So now they get possession. So now we're going to switch gears, and we're going to try to pump out some damage so that we can get the ball back. I get knocked down, but still get the line of sight, so I keep firing. And right before we take him down, he makes a clutch pass to the sniper. So try to push him back a bit, and it was probably too soon for a knockback, because he gets white barred, flips right over the acid pit, and he's gone. So now they've got us up two to nothing. Neutral ball. Who's gonna go for it first? So we've got the ball, and he gets a guard. I throw a couple of off heels. He's in pretty good shape to try to run the ball for us. And I'll take that opening and put some pressure on the sniper who's helped us fortunately pretty low already. And between a sentinel and I, it looks like the defensive cooldowns run up. The sniper goes down fairly quickly. So then, Mortar Volley catches, catches him right there, it cuts him off in his 4 speed, and it looks like we lost the ball but then gained it back like immediately, which is nice. So now we're going to hop up to tier 2 and try to help out. So I'm out of position to do a whole lot, but I try to stun the Sork and the Acid. Failed miserably. <laughs> and the knockback there just kind of pushes them both over. They both go over the edge, and now we're going to get back on our ball carrier. And I think this guy's playing tank, or he might be doing DPS. I couldn't necessarily tell by by looking at him. Um, now, he had a couple of dots on him, and I tried to use my cleanse. The way it used to work, you used to be able to cleanse them. I th at least I thought you could, but um, not anymore. So that was kind of a wasted cooldown. But there wasn't a ton of damage coming at him, so it's totally fine. Makes the pass, and... 
then the respawns come out, which is like a nightmare scenario when you're trying to run again. Fortunately, he's able to push past them, and now we're tied 2-2. Two to two. So, making some progress. The editing was a little bit too tight on there, but basically I hit the ground, and uh, an assassin popped up behind me and was like, Hello there! Go back to respawn. So that happened. <laughs> So, threw out a couple of heals, and he saw me open, made the pass. I get a guard, and I'm in pretty good shape to run it in. So I pop my shield, jet boost right through the acid, hold the line, and there we go. Three points on the board. We got the lead. Neutral ball! Who's gonna go for it first? For whichever reason, fortunately for me, the uh, assassin decided not to follow me down. So I popped the adrenaline rush and then ran over to try to catch up to the team. And I'm a little out of position to throw any off heals or anything like that, but I can throw the full auto on this guy in the acid pit with the, to put the slow on him, and the acid does the rest. Then I think this is when I get a nasty surprise. There we go. I'm pretty sure that's the same assassin that just killed me a second ago. And now I'm thinking, oh, I really hope this guy doesn't kill me. Because if he takes me out twice in a row like that, he's going to see me as a free kill. And he's just going to be all over me the rest of the match. Uh, that's happened to me a couple of times before. Fortunately, I was spared the embarrassment by a, sh a friendly shadow that was hanging out nearby. So, crisis averted. Hawk past connects! So I made a bit of a tactical error there, but I'm not positive what I could have done different. Um, I figured, you know, he made the pass to the third tier, he'll be scoring in no time, but as you can see there, um, the Imperials got possession, like, almost immediately. And even though I got hit with the low slash, I was able to get the knockback just in time to push him down to the bottom tier, and then I rushed up to this assassin here, which normally I try to fight from range. But there was a possibility the ball carrier would have seen him and thrown the ball back up to him. So I stayed close until I realized that that pass most likely was never going to happen. And then it was just a matter of um, <laughs> surviving poking the bear, as they say. Because that assassin wasn't too thrilled that um, I was standing so close to him. <laughs> so I tried to run over to grab the health pot. Fail miserably. <laughs> and that's the reason why I usually avoid running around on the pipes. Knockback. <laughs> as you can tell, I love doing that. So now it looks like there's uh, three of them and one of me, and as I like to say, that's bad math. But it looks like a bunch of them found something else to do because it's only the assassin on the right now. So, turning your back on an assassin usually ends poorly. They can do a ton of damage. So, I'm trying to keep them at a distance and fight them off. And right here, I'm a little nervous because he's catching up on health-wise. And he just popped his tech immunity, it looked like. Got the stun. Demo round, which didn't really hit him too hard. Go for the full auto, and it looked like he popped his health back there. And then, a second assassin. This is not good, to put it mildly. Especially since he just grabbed the health bot. So, I go ahead and hit my reflective shield. Yeah, that helped a bit. I got the heal from my, my, um, from my shield there, my defensive shield. But, you know, there's two of them, so that's two low slashes <laughs> back to back, which is actually kind of cool to watch. And this time, we managed not to fall to our deaths and grab the health pot. However, there's still this whole two-on-one assassin situation. <laughs> so I, I hit my diversion and go for the jet boost back, get some distance, pop adrenaline rush, and then we start returning fire some more. This guy's finally starting to weaken. His health's finally getting low. And he goes down. So, now there's only one of them. Pop my shield, throw the stun. Just because I want to get a bit of time down. I understand that normally, when you're fighting someone and you pop your shield, you actually want them to do some damage to you so you can get the healing charges. But my health was so low, I was trying to work the time, so I threw the stun. But then, with you know, some people throwing me some heals, another folks showing up. He wasn't really as interested in fighting me anymore, but um, I was kind of petty, and I kept shooting. And between the shadow and I, he goes down. So, 
surviving an assassin period is for me is nice surviving two of them is very nice so um, but that's like the 5.0 defenses probably in there because before um, getting the heal off of my shield the reflective shield and um, getting so much health back from the drum and rush if it wasn't for that those two would have ripped me to pieces in a matter of seconds and you know, on the subject, I understand that um, some people are unhappy with all the defensive cooldowns commandos are, uh, they have right now. I totally get it, because uh, when they first retooled Guarded by the Force for Sentinels, a lot of people didn't really like that either. And uh, when they reworked, I can't remember what it's called. It's um, it might be Enraged Defense classes, but basically when Guardians are taking damage, it heals them instead. Um, when that first got reworked, a lot of people didn't like that either. I'm not sure if. Uh, how much longer it's going to be. I wouldn't be surprised if some of the defensive cooldowns got nerfed, but honestly, I was playing the class before we got the buffs, and when and if the nerf comes, I'm going to still be playing Commander after that, so I'm just going to enjoy the ride for as long as I can. Who's going to go for it first? So naturally, as um, this guy's going up to grab the ball, get the full auto on to slow him down, get the electric net, and with all these people, taking him down wasn't very difficult, and we've got possession. And, uh, Overall, things aren't going that bad right now. We've uh, decided to turn this around with a score 3 to 5. Uh, we can hopefully run this up there and finish the match. So, right now, we're basically just keeping the pressure on these guys, letting our ball runner get ahead. And a nice little mortar volley. Got the name right that time. <laughs> Got the mortar volley, and the sniper goes down. Harpoon our way up to tier 2. And the match is about to end, but I see a sniper that's free casting. He's probably aiming at our ball carrier, so I start shooting at him and getting his health nice and low. But then that assassin shows up again. <laughs> Fortunately, the match was over. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the match, and I will catch you all next time. Feel free to give it the old thumbs up and subscribe to see more. Catch you guys next time.